This is the Giovanni Analysis Options tutorial number two on map animations. Our example will be an animation of the approach and landfall of Typhoon Haiyan on the Philippine Islands in November 2013 as shown on the next slide. The data product used is the Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission, TRMM, 3B42, version 7, 3 hourly data product. Map animations are used to display a sequential series of maps for a mapped data variable. The animated sequence of images is useful for observing spatial patterns and detecting unusual events over time. In Giovanni, map animations can be created for any data with a time increment, hourly, daily, monthly, etc. Any replotting options for time average maps can also be applied to map animations. The first step is to select the Map Animations Visualization option, which is listed in the Maps menu. The selected option will be highlighted in yellow. The next step is to choose the data variable, which is the Trim 3B42 version 7 3 hourly precipitation data product. Then the time period of interest is chosen. In this case, the time period when Typhoon Haiyan made landfall was November 7th and 8th, 2013. Because this is a data product with three hour resolution, it is also possible to select the start and end times. We have chosen the first file on November 7th through the final file on November 8th, a two day period. Finally, the region of interest is chosen, which as shown here is the Philippine Islands. Note that the order of these selection steps can be different, which means you can select the time period of interest and region of interest before choosing the data variable. After all the selections are made, click Plot Data. The replotting options for map animations are the same as for time average maps. Color palettes may be changed, pixels can be contoured, the smoothing option, and the color palette minimum and maximum values can be adjusted. Replotting options for a map animation will be applied to every frame of the animation. Thus, for animations with a large number of frames, this can take a significant amount of time. For the animation of Typhoon Haiyan in this example, the maximum value for the color palette range was decreased and the pixels were contoured. Here is a frame from the Typhoon Haiyan animation when the eye of the typhoon was particularly well formed. The maximum value was set to 25 millimeters per hour and the pixels were contoured. The speed that the animation plays in the browser can be adjusted with the arrow keys. It is not possible to download a map animation in animated form directly from Giovanni. There are two download options. The data for each frame of the animation may be downloaded individually as a netcdf.nc file. The sequence of images in the animation is available as a zip.zip file, which can be downloaded and extracted on the home system. There are several different ways that images downloaded for a map animation can be animated. One simple method is to record the animation as it plays in the web browser. Many different screen capture software packages can do this. Windows systems even have a simple recording option mainly intended for recording gameplay sessions, that will work. This method was used for the animation shown at the beginning of the tutorial. Many software utilities enable the creation of an animation from a set of images. One example is ImageJ, a free software utility from the National Institutes of Health, NIH. With a small number of frames, it can also be done online on some sites. Another method uses Climate Data Operators, CDO, which can be run on Unix or Windows systems. CDO allows mathematical operations on the image data, such as summing the values in the data to show accumulation, which is useful for rain or snow or solar radiation. This concludes the Giovanni Map Animations video tutorial. 
Thank you for watching.